Hello everyone and welcome to your weekly upload update for the week of March 13th, 2018. Before we get to our uploads, which you can probably see a couple of them on your screen right now, I unfortunately have some bad news for you. Uh, it has come to my attention that there are quite a few calls that I have made, specifically earlier female creations that have succumbed to the infamous and still unfortunately present image importing glitch that existed in 2K17 that is apparently carried over to 2K18. To give a little bit of context, it happens when you are editing custom logos on a creation where if you do it before you finalized a character it glitches to where that image does not show. It's a blank nothing when it is that somebody else uploads that particular character, downloads I should say, to their game. So anything from logos, tattoos, even face textures, if they're edited before finalization, don't show on the call. I will show you some examples of this as was pointed out to me and uh, the sad and unfortunate part about this is that the only way to fix it is to actually re-upload those graphics or assets again and reapply them which in my case considering the fact that I started things off in 2k18 with a lot of female characters that use a lot of graphics that's practically like me having to redo those cores over from scratch which unfortunately I realistically don't have enough time to do I thought that if by reapplying those specific images that would fix it it didn't I tested it out by uploading it to a separate account of mine's and they still ended up blank and that's when my brother told me that I had to actually re-upload all of those graphics and reapply them this is unacceptable! Which in the case of some characters is practically their entire attires. And time constraints just really don't benefit with me being able to do that. With the uh, separate projects that I'm doing as well as also producing the XWA shows which I'm still in the process of doing as well. So, what that means is that for the time being, the creations that you see on your screen, the list of names here, are going to be temporarily off the table. I can't re-upload them, and I won't be editing them anytime soon, at least until I actually have the time to be able to do that, which I cannot give any of you a definitive ETA of when that is. So, my sincerest, deepest apologies if you needed any of these characters for your universes or shows, but I, I just don't have the time to be able to go back and redo all that work and still be able to focus on the work that I still have ahead of me. So, that's how that goes. That being said, uh, one glitched piece of work that I will be re-uploading is going to be the uh, girl fight arena as it is that I found out that that arena also has the glitch on it so the actual girl fight logo doesn't appear on anything so it's basically just a blank arena with no logos on it whatsoever yeah gonna have to fix that one at least and it's an easy fix because it's just one logo that I have to re-upload as opposed to upwards of God, I don't even know how much. 30, 40, 50. I use a lot of graphics on my creations, as you all probably know by now. So, yeah, that's that's kind of a hassle. And it's unfortunate that it has to come down to this because 2K Games does not fix a glitch from one version of the game to the next. I guess they aren't aware of it. I'm not sure. I mean, something like this should certainly have been on their radar. Unless, of course, it was a situation that nobody told them. To which case, if you're watching this, please tell them. If you follow their Twitter, 
tweeters. Yes, if you follow their tweeters, Twitter, or their forum, or whatever, let them know that this glitch is still in and needs to be patched out. And not only patched out, but removed completely. There's just, th th this bug should not exist in 2K19 whatsoever. It's absolutely unacceptable. And yeah, that's that's really all I have to say about that there. Sorry once again, guys. With that out of the way, we will focus now on our uploads for the week, which is basically all 10 cars that I featured in the weekly car showcases the past couple of weeks. So, in no particular order, we start things off here with the Chicago bully Clayton Lang who will require DLC. Pretty much a majority of the characters that I upload from this point on will have some form of DLC on them. But then again, you probably have all the DLC by now anyway. But I just have to let you know anyway, as a common courtesy. Here's a preview of front and back there for you. Then we have billionaire Brock Bentley who also will require DLC. His uh, counterparts in World's Finest are soon to be presented in a cost showcase video in the not so distant future. Legionarius and Union King and also some others are already ready. I just haven't showed them to you yet. But anyway, here's a preview front and back just in case you missed out on those videos. Then we have Jake Creed, also requiring DLC. Preview, front and back once again. The face that I have no real plans for at the moment, but there will be plans at some point. Just don't know what or how. Scrolling down, we have Angelus, the artist formerly known as uh, the God King Orion, will also require DLC content. I know a lot of you guys have been looking forward to getting your hands on him again in all of his golden, glorious splendor. So now he's there for you. Scrolling downwards. We have the Wolf Brothers, a.k.a. the House of Wolves. Younger brother Damien requires DLC. There goes your preview. And then older brother Devin. Ditto, basically. Quick peek at him. And then we got the purple man himself, and I'm not talking Kilgrave. This, of course, is Cyrus, the entertainer. Yes, that's going to be part of his ring entrance. Wait, just wait, you'll see. It's going to be good. Anyway, contains downloadable content, but you already knew that. There goes your front and back preview of him. And then last but not least, a little bonus content. Someone who I have not actually shown off in close detail, but has been completed. That being the uh, last of my uh, legends. This, of course, being the owner of View Japan Pro Wrestling slash the Togo Dojo. And also the husband of Tadako Togo. That being Yoshi Togo. He will be featured in closer detail in the next weekly cross showcase that I will be starting work on in the not so distant future. The very next one that you see uploaded, you'll get a closer look at him. But here's a brief preview. Pretty much design similar to his uh, look from last year, 
just with some variations, including a custom dojo logo. Try saying that three times fast that I developed for him and many of his disciples that will be featuring it in their uh, ring gear in some way, shape, or form. So, yeah. You get him before you actually see him in detail. So it's kind of like a pre-order. Sort of. It is kind of like a pre-order. That's kind of cool. Anyway, that's going to do it for this weekly upload update. These cores will all be available for the next seven or so days. And then just as a, uh, a heads up for what I plan on doing in the next week's uploads, I'm probably just going to blow everything up. As in take everybody off the table and just start uploading everything new that I've worked on up to this point. Except, unfortunately, the glitched ones. Just to get all that content out there for you guys as fast as possible. And then go forward with the uh, showcases to give you a closer look. And, you know, the whole design process and things of that nature. So, make sure you get any and all 20. Yes, that rhymed. And I just realized that. Of these cores as soon as possible because they are all not guaranteed to be here next week as a matter of fact i can probably say that they won't be here next week and they'll probably be replaced by 20 more cores because as of this video once again notwithstanding the ones that are glitched i have completely used up all 100 slots i have 100 creations done completed in 2k 18 which is a personal best i usually have about maybe between 65 to 70 but i've got a bunch of separate projects including the special project that i've been talking about a couple of weeks ago but that's on a different profile i'm talking about specifically xwa related stuff we got a hundred because some of these characters that i'll be showing you aren't necessarily xwa and I'll get into more detail with that whenever it is that I get to showing them off. But yeah, we got a full roster and I have to get all that stuff out as fast as possible. So that's how things are going right now. Or in the future anyway. Right now, we're going to put things to rest. So make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for all of his original created goodness including shows and tutorials that I keep saying I'm going to do but have not put anything else yet I am trust me it's coming it's it's gonna happen just bear with me people one man show like I said before and if you are already subscribed then make sure that you hit that notification bell that way you know whenever it is that a video like this comes out and if you happen to be the first person to watch this video, then, you know, type first in the comment section because I know you're going to do that anyway. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching again. And by the way, if anybody out there plans on uh, converting any of my cars into their own characters again, you know, just, just give me credit at least, you know, just, just put it in like your description you know i ripped this off from ob aka 3x because he's awesome go check his stuff out shameless self-promotion i know i still can't get over that i'm sorry i just can't like how many guys out there get their stuff cloned blatantly i know nick virtue had his but yeah that's that's kind of an honor like i wear that as a badge of honor right now anyway i'm rambling that's it we're out OB signing off. See ya. We're, we're done. Okay, I'm, I'm shutting off now.